Hi, I'm Junaid and I'm with Junaid and in this video, we are going to discuss how the Shopify orders work, like how customers can place order on our Shopify store, how we can fulfill them or how they will appear in our backend, the Shopify admin, and how we can fulfill them using the sales dropshipping app. So I have already logged in in one of my Shopify test stores. So we can just proceed with the order placing process. Let's go to the website front end. We can see some of the products listed here. I will click on all of them. Just select one of the random options. You can probably select like the option that he wants. Then we can add to cart or buy it now. I will go through the add to cart button. Now I will check out. I am using a bogus or test payment gateway, so I don't actually need to add test card details, but I will still need to add shipping details, etc. So I will just use one of my test emails. And random card details on my wallet. And pay now. And as you can see, the order has been confirmed. It is placed successfully. This is what the customer will see. As you can see, it is showing VIP1 gateway, which is bogus actually. So now we will proceed to how it will appear in our backend. I'm already loaded with Shopify. Here we can go to see the orders. You can see some details here. For example, the date, name, online store, like where it was placed from, the channel it used, its price, payment status, fulfillment status, and how many items, the current is it, and how many items were involved in the order. So let's click to open it. Here you can see the test order details. You can just ignore it. It is because I'm using a bogus payment gateway, but the rest of it is the same. The parts that we bought, the quantity that we bought, total price of the product, and the customer details like name, email, shipping address, etc. You will also see a fraud analysis there, which will tell you how risky the payment is. We are using a test payment gateway, so these details are not visible to us, but you will be able to see them. Now, if you are using your own products, then you don't actually need to do much here. You will just have to click the fulfill item button and fulfill item. You can also add tick, tracking number, shipping center, or anything that you need to add. But in case you don't need to add, you can just click on the fulfill item and it will show the status fulfilled. Now let's proceed to the fulfilling order from the sales dropshipping app. First, we have to go to the apps and open the dropshipping app, which is named Sales in our case, of course. Let's open to research. Okay, let's scroll all these. Ryan says, now let's move on to the open orders, AliExpress orders. We have three orders here because I tried a few orders before this one as well, so they are also listed here. It is showing that there are no shipping methods selected. So we will just select a shipping method by our own side. I will select the AliExpress selection shipping because I just see this option. Confirm. Now, as you can see that it is uh, moved from pending to waiting order. Now we have to click on the order button. If we had multiple products, we could select all of them to bulk process them. But now we will just use the individual fulfillment process order. Here we will just go order via API. It is loading. Confirm. Now it has moved from awaiting order to waiting payment. Let's move to that tab. It will keep moving from step to step once we process some details of it. It will go to the next tab. Okay. So now we have two orders here. This is an old order. This is the current one that we are working on. Now we have to click on the payment because the order is processed. The details are confirmed. As you can see, this is the product that they have bought. This is the order number. There are also customer details that I didn't show you. These are synced directly from Shopify. So you don't actually need to change anything else. If you want, you can make the details, but you don't need to. Because if you start doing this for hundreds of orders, it is going to take what L amount of time. So let's just skip this one and move on to the pivot. So it is redirecting us from diesel to AliExpress now so that we can place the order on the supplier website. Now, one thing that you have to make sure is that the AliExpress code that has been linked in this teaser app is the same one that is logged in in your browser. Because if you miss this one, it will become a huge hassle. You will have to contact the teaser customer service to move the order back to the pending state and then reprocess it again. So I suggest that you make sure that it is the same AliExpress code. Now, once it is processed here, you will have to click on the pay now button. 
add the payment details, pay now, and the process will be placed on AliExpress. I am not going to do this. It is basic and very simple. Uh, I am sure that uh, most of you has placed orders on Amazon, so the process is about same. Once this is done, the order will be moved from awaiting payment to awaiting shipment because the order is placed on the supplier website but it is not yet shipped so once the order is shipped from supplier and the tracking information shipping information setup is updated it will move from waiting shipment to either waiting fulfillment or fulfill it will move to any once it is done you just have to wait for it delivered and then you can fulfill it from your side as well from your orders tab of course like we did in the previous description if the order is cancelled from customer or if there are any issues with the order, they will go to cancelled or failed orders. You can see those details here as well. We don't actually need to do anything else. So we have already covered our discussion. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comment section and I will make sure to answer that. Thanks. Take care.